In 1943, during the relentless churn of World War II, the landing craft repair base at Wallace Island emerged as a pivotal yet often understated element in the strategic tapestry of the Pacific theater. This base nestled in the vastness of the Pacific became a crucial hub for maintaining and repairing the vessels and equipment vital to the Allied efforts. The Pacific theater marked by its sprawling oceanic expanses and strategically crucial islands was a stage of immense tactical complexities. Control over these scattered islands dictated control over the Pacific, and thus every small advance or retreat had the potential to significantly impact the larger conflict. Amidst this grand and unforgiving backdrop, the operations at Wallace Island played an essential role. The base buzzed with a variety of activities, each critical to the war effort. Here, men worked tirelessly on barges, engaging in the meticulous task of boring holes. This work, though seemingly mundane, was crucial for the upkeep and functionality of the vessels that were central to amphibious operations. The relentless sound of metal striking metal resonated through the air. Close to the water's edge, a makeshift but remarkably efficient machine shop was set up. Within its confines, servicemen were absorbed in repairing the vital components of various machinery. The focus was intense as they worked on motors, a reflection of the high stakes involved in their task. The importance of these repairs extended far beyond the cons of the shop, directly impacting the operational capabilities of the fleet. Communication, an unseen but vital aspect of warfare, was also a focus at the base. In a radio shop, servicemen meticulously worked on maintaining and repairing communication devices. Their efforts ensured that vital lines of communication remained open, a crucial factor in the coordination and success of military operations. The base was not just a site of mechanical and technical work, it also served as a training ground. In the dense jungles surrounding the base, servicemen practiced combat techniques, a vital component of the rigorous training regimen. They engaged in exercises such as dummy passes and firing drills, honing their skills with .45 caliber pistols at trick targets. These exercises were critical in maintaining their combat readiness, a necessity in the unpredictable environment of the Pacific theater. Metalworking was another key activity at the base. Servicemen operated lathes and engaged in the precise work of cutting metal and removing pistons. These tasks were essential for the repair and maintenance of various machinery, ensuring that everything from vehicles to weapons was kept in optimal condition. Life at the base also included moments that captured the human aspect of war. Men would take brief breaks to engage in simple acts such as pouring coffee. These moments, though ordinary, were significant for the servicemen, providing brief respite and a sense of normalcy amidst the chaos of war. The repair of landing crafts was perhaps the most defining activity at the base. These crafts were essential for transporting troops and equipment to various battlegrounds across the Pacific. The meticulous work involved in repairing and maintaining these vessels was a testament to the base's critical role in the broader strategy of the war. The landing craft repair base at Wallace Island in 1943 was a microcosm of the war effort in the Pacific. It was a place where every task, no matter how small or routine, contributed significantly to the larger objectives of the war. The base played a part in the relentless effort and planning required to maintain a strong presence in the Pacific during one of the most challenging times in modern history.
Much obliged you hopped on board for this snazzy trip through American life in the 1940s and 1950s, all captured through nifty vintage photographs. If this flick's got your motor running, don't be a square. Click on that jolly bucket of bolts to subscribe to the channel for more top drawer content just like this. Thank <laughs> you.